I don't have to call I don't them. have it on my calendar for this Thursday. I'll, I'll find out because I got already made this. I think it's next one. Okay, but uh, he was here earlier. Uh, Teresa he had a said there was a bit, so I'll find out. I Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see everybody this evening. I'd like to call the regular board meeting of the Fire Commissioners Monday, December 4th, 2023 to order. Please rise. We'd like to have a moment of silence for seven firefighters across the nation that lost their lives the past month, and I'll pray. Dear God, we give honor to those who have served faithfully and have lost their life this past month. I pray, Lord, that you be with their families and give them encouragement and strength during this time of loss. We thank you for their dedication. We thank you for all those who serve, Lord, that uh, do so much for so many other people. Thank you for the firefighters here in Benita and surrounding areas, and we pray for their protection, especially in this time of year where it's just getting really busy and... Uh, a lot more uh, issues that come up. Just uh, guard and watch over them and everything they do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank Seeing none, I need a motion to approve November 13, 2023 regular meeting minutes. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I need one motion for November 2023 to 2023 and current expenditures and ACH payments, acknowledgement of financial report, and acknowledgement of wire transfers and transfers between accounts. So moved. I'll second it. Commissioner Lohan. Real quick, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I inadvertently left out a PO that we'd ha already had on there for over $10,000. It was to put the DVRs, the DVR, the uh, repeater. We added a new one to Squad 21, so now all of our first out fleet has it. And it was uh, so we just add that to this motion. Yes, just add that to the motion. We got a we got a motion so and a second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, now it's uh, our favorite time. Yeah. Presentations. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So in our industry, most fire departments, most EMS agencies, they give an award out for saving someone's life, bringing them back from cardiac arrest. So clinically dead and bringing them back to life is called the Phoenix Award. So we're here tonight to recognize a few crews for getting a Phoenix Award and bringing someone back to life. Unfortunately, that person couldn't make it, but we're still gonna send out our sympathies to that family and our congratulations to him for being alive. But we have uh, what makes tonight special. In Lee County, we have the same guidelines, the same protocols. We train together, we work together all the time. So we, we're used to it. We're one of the fire departments that neighbors a different county. So their county operates under different guidelines, different protocols. They have different equipment. They train different. We train with them, but not as often as we would like to or get a chance to. So the fact that this call happened in Collier County and we responded into Collier County and worked along with Collier County EMS, a completely different county agency, worked together with different guidelines, different pr protocols, never training together, we were still able to save someone's life. So it's extremely special tonight. And it just it shows the dedication, the professionalism that these men and women have. So this call, a guy was, a guy was working on an electric box on the side of the road, and he got electrocuted. And he went into cardiac arrest, young guy. Thank God somebody on his crew knew CPR. So they started CPR on him. And they worked them until we got there. We got there along with Collier County EMS. They asked for our help, which we often ask for theirs as a neighboring county. So we got there. We worked with Collier County EMS until North Naples or North Collier Fire was able to show up and help out. And they were able to save this guy. Got him to the hospital. He's alive and well today. Yeah, I think he's back on the job, actually. So, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. 
Lucy? I can't tell you that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to recognize a few people from, uh, from Collier County. Chief Camps from Collier County EMS. Thank you. <laughs> Captain McCulloch with the uh, beautiful dog from Collier County EMS. And we have a crew from, um, from uh, North Collier Fire. Thank you, guys. So I'm going to bring them up one at a time. And uh, I see we're still missing one of our crews. I'm trying to stall, hoping they get here. They're in traffic? OK, copy that. I'm trying to stall. <laughs> OK, so first I want to bring up, with his first Phoenix Award, firefighter Brian Bruzos. Just stand off to the side, Brian, when you finish. And we're going to see if Ladder 22 gets here. I'm going to slow down. They're at 75 in Benny Beach. Oh, copy that. Thank you. From Collier County EMS, Battalion Chief Charlie Matthews. From Collier County EMS, Parrick Stephen Wilmap. <laughs> and I also want to recognize Lieutenant Sean Swing, who was unable to make it. We had a family emergency, but Chief. McCulloch, if you would, uh, if you would please, or Chief Camps, if you would please accept. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and from North Carrier Fire, Jorge Castillo. Thank you. They're, they're pulling up right now, so you want to continue? Yeah, no, we'll, I'll, I'll stall for a second. At this time, I, I would like to, you know, point a personal privilege and uh, call up uh, Chief Mike Choate. Uh, Mike Choate is the, uh, is the chief at, at a Mockley Fire, but he's also a new role, so I'll let him come up and tell him what his role is, because at this point, huh? <laughs> see, that, see, that's what I get, see. But no, you know, these, these fine gentlemen from Collier County you know, are now under Mike's purview. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, under Chief Choate's purview. So I, I'd like to hit, have him say a few things while we're trying to wait on our crew to get here. So go ahead, Chief Choate. So I'm the stall tapping. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're this guy. Th thank you, Commissioners. So what's going to happen is Good I'm going to go like this a little bit more, then I'm going to say that. Yeah. Th thank you, Chief. <laughs> thank you, Commissioners, for having us. This is such a great event. We're going to do the same thing and kind of reciprocate. You're all invited to our Phoenix Award that's upcoming, too. We hope that you can attend. It is during the middle of the week, though. We don't... We don't try to accommodate you, really, because we do it in the mid-morning. So, so um, I'm Michael Choate. I'm the Executive Director of Public Safety for Collier County. Uh, that's just county government in itself. North Collier still a standalone fire district. Uh, I'm also, as the, your fire chief mentioned, I'm still the technically the fire chief for the Immokalee and Ave Maria Fire District. So, so uh, I'm kind of kind of on loan, if you will, from uh, my fire district to the county to kind of fill some gaps and do some things and the crew's walking through the door so so uh thank you uh, that was enough so but no what a proud what a proud moment thank you thank you to the to the crews that worked on this call and and uh, i'm just honored to be here so thank you all right continuing <laughs> firefighter terry bonnell This is Firefighter Bunnell's fourth Phoenix Award. Wow. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Bye. <laughs> Firefighter Matt Lorch.
So real quick, like I, like I said before, in Lee County, we automatically dispatch into each other's districts and our fire departments. And it's, it's, it's really special and it's, it's really important that we maintain these relationships with our neighboring counties. And, and we have a mutual agreement with Collier County that if they ever need our help, we're gonna be there. And if, you know, if, we, if you need their help, blah, 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 you know what I mean. <laughs> so so we, we continue to strive and we, we appreciate your support with training with these guys and working with these guys. And we appreciate chief support and we all collaborate and, and we're gonna continue to work together and this is, this, is a, this is a great night for a collaboration. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, sir. Good going. Congratulations. Chief, good going. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you all. It's always fun and to have a happy ending like this and it's Everybody, uh, con congratulations. We now have um, some years of service awards. Uh, I don't think anybody's here. Okay. I don't see anybody. You don't see. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to take a couple of minute recess here. If anybody doesn't want to stick around for the rest of the meeting, you're welcome to stay. But if uh, you want to head for the exits, I don't blame you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Mayor, how are you? Nice to see you, sir. Okay. It's okay. No, no. We good to go? Call the meeting back to order. Next item on the agenda is uh, commissioner's business. Anybody? Uh, I got a couple of short things, sir. Commissioner Machero. I was going to ask the, the chief. Uh, I yes, understand sir. we're getting the, the new Zoll heart, heart monitor. <laughs> yeah, I sent uh, each of you an email today uh, just, to, just to update the email. The original email had mentioned about buying the Zoll monitors and uh, doing it over a, a one-year period. I've talked to Zoll, and they've decided, uh, they've elected to let us do it over a three-year period, interest-free. So that's what I'm suggesting now is just to buy the new heart monitors to include the auto pulse, which is the CPR uh, assistant. Basically, it does chest compressions, and we are going. We had that in the budget for this year, and we'll transfer that money to help offset some of the cost of the heart monitor. And they've given us a, uh, I think, is a very good deal. It started out very high, and you know, we negotiated it down. We probably negotiated about sixty thousand dollars off of the, uh, off of the original price to include that uh, auto pulse. They call it is the CPR assistance, which we will be putting on the boat as that fourth person to help on the boat itself.
Great. On and the Marine it's also unit. my understanding you, you negotiated down so it's interest free. Yes, it is interest free over three years. Nice so. job. Uh, is there anything I would ask the uh, assistant chief who's talking and uh, very, very rude. Is there, is there anything else we can get these guys to keep them safe, fat, and happy that they need to do their jobs? Uh, that's out there. I know you guys are on the cutting edge, uh, Chief Schmidt. Uh, I know you're on that side, on our EMS side. What else do they need to keep them, to keep them uh, really healthy and safe that we can get them that they can use? We keep our eyes open. We just had a safety committee meeting. You no know, big issues came up. Uh, the issues that came up, we can either already have handled or currently handled. No, uh, nothing I can think of at this time. Nothing on the EMS side? We recently uh, we upgraded the size of their gloves, the thickness of the gloves, and okay. we made sure that they're fentanyl protected. Oh, so good. Yeah, that's, that's, Absolutely. yeah. Well, you've seen, probably seen the videos of, like, uh, deputies or policemen that are overdosing because Absolutely. they just come in contact. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, how about respiratory-wise uh, with fentanyl? Do they have to worry about that with respirators or? We have, we have uh, no spray. We've got them in brand. Carry on all the trucks in case a deputy or one of our guys. N Narcan? Yes. Yeah, okay. For their own personal use, correct. Oh, good. Okay, so they're protected from that. Okay, mm -hmm. thank, thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Chief. Absolutely. Anybody? Good. We all good? Yeah. Uh, anything new on the consolidation of the two? Uh, I'm going to I'll, I'll mention that in my report. report. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when, if we decide to go ahead with this, how long will it? Uh, 12 weeks, 12 to 14 12, weeks, 12 and what it is is uh, we will pull the PO and do it. They will update it to reflect the three-year period, and then they will also uh, come back after the units come in. They will come back and do three days of training with the actual new monitors and the added features and the updated um, online. So what it is is right now in order to see how our CPR is, it's called CPR Feedback, to see how that is now, you have to log into a certain computer and it has to be installed on the computer. Now it is going to be cloud-based. So now I can see it from home. Dr. Abo can see it from home. Anybody could see it from whatever computer they're at. So it's cloud-based now. So that's one of the upgraded features. So they are going to come back and do the training, all three shifts on that. And they actually give us a dedicated person that if we have any questions, issues uh, on the monitors of the new features, they will uh, answer those questions for us in a timely manner. And the the other big thing on this is uh, basically we call it bullet bulletproof warranty. It's five years of worry, worry free. Battery goes dead, we got it. They, if they can replace the parts on the inside, it's covered at 100%. They call they uh, send us a loaner within 24 hours. We send the new the old model back and they do it. The other positive thing that they are doing, the batteries that we currently have, which are some of them are older, some of them we've had to replace in the last two to three years, because we're doing this, they're going to grandfather those batteries in so we don't have to buy all new batteries to get this so they're going to grandfather those batteries in and now those batteries will have the same warranty as a brand new battery so anything in the next five years as i put in the email the only thing we're going to have to pay for in the next five years is just the stickies for the heart for the heart pad or to do the heart cardiac monitoring the cpr and the little tabs that we use for the pediatric on the finger probes and each station will have a monitor each each via, each truck each first out apparatus will have a monitor, okay. and to us to also include the two BCs because of the new protocol that we're doing now. Uh, the latest and greatest is what's called double sequential defibrillation, which means they put two monitors on the patient. Heart monitor is going this way, and the sticky pad's going this way. So that way, when they do a defibrillation, it hits here, and within a second later, it hits through here. So okay. that's the new protocol. Uh, we've also implemented that the BCs. Both BCs or ABC, along with the the first responding unit on our cardiac arrest, will be responding to the call. So we'll have two units going to it on cardiac arrest. Okay, thank you. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, next item is uh, I need a motion for the disposal report. So moved. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Old business. Anybody want to talk about? You know what I'm going to say. Um, anybody got anything? Is there any update on Tico? Any, no, any? not. We haven't had our meeting yet. We are having our meeting next month. Okay. With the FFCA, and oddly enough, uh, Chief Choate is the incoming president of the uh, Florida Fire Chiefs Association. So, I think we have a sympathetic and empathetic ear. Oh, on absolutely. This. He's he's a wonderful guy. Uh, okay. Um, any new business? Do we got to talk about? 
All right, let's move on to your report, Chief. So my report's going to be short tonight, uh, kind of going off what Commissioner Slacka, merger talks. So, you know, over the last, uh, let's call it 60 days, we've had quite a uh, roller coaster of merger talks. It started out as us in Fort Myers Beach uh, merging or actually dissolving a Fort Myers Beach and what they had we get. Uh, that changed to both of us being taken out and creating a new one. To the third one, which we met about on uh, last Thursday, November 30th, which would have been a referendum vote of the citizens of Bonita Springs, the citizens of Fort Myers Beach, and the citizens of the Iona McGregor Fire Department. Because at that point, the bill, the new bill that had been proposed was Fort Myers, Bonita would take everything from Bonita Springs to the island, and to include the island of Fort Myers Beach, Acero Island, which is about a half a mile wide and seven miles long. And then Iona McGregor would assume everything on the mainland side of Fort Myers Beach from Mantanzas Pass to the, I guess you'd call it to the east. And then uh, it would go to a vote and then we would, within 90 days of the vote, assuming that it passed, we would get together within 90 days and divide up liabilities and uh, assets. In the interim of that bill being proposed, Fort Myers Beach and Iona McGregor got together and decided they were going to do a feasibility study to see if it is feasible or financially necessary or warranted for those two entities to merge. Uh, the reason why it was those two and not us two, they're more like in kind, they have the same pension, same uh, fire equipment, you know, little nuances like that. You know, with us having our own private 175 plan versus a FRS, it just made it a little bit more cumbersome. Some of the equipment like our air packs are MSA air packs, they have Scott air packs. So, you know, we would have had to pay to change to one or the other if we would have merged. So those were some of the nuances. So Fort Myers Beach and Iona have agreed and their boards have agreed to do a, a study. And so with that being done, myself and along with Chief Choate went and met with a couple of uh, legislators to include our representative, Adam Botana. Uh, Adam Botana did agree and was a man of his word to pull it off of the legislation delegation. Myself and Chairman Lohan were there at bright and early at 7 a.m. To, to listen to it, but he was a man of his word. He, uh, he did uh, withdraw it from the local delegation, uh, but he did put an asterisk beside it to say he reserves the right to come back next year and, and look at it again. So merger talks are off the table at least for one more year. Just a reminder this year, legislation starts in January. Next year it will start in March. So the delegation meeting will be about this time next year in the December month is what it was last last so year. Adam said ago. he would be willing to look at it next year. <clears throat> yes. Um, just for local area, uh, we have live fire co-op this uh, week. It'd be uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So if anybody would like to see what again, what live fire looks like and how we cooperate with the whole entire county. The whole entire county will be here the next three days. Uh, they'll rotate a couple trucks through. We'll do a morning session and an afternoon session. I believe the only departments that are not coming up would be the smaller ones up north, the Bay Shores, the Alvas, North Fort Myers, Tice. So they will come at a later time, but the, the larger departments will be here to include Fort Myers Beach, Iona. And that will be, like I said, fourth, fifth, or fifth, sixth, and seventh. Uh, next, as you know, the reason we're having this meeting tonight instead of next Monday is for Toys for Tots. We had an event Saturday night at the Circle Bar at the Prada, or not the Prada, but at the uh, Promenade. Promenade, which was very well attended. Chief Smith attended it. Uh, they filled up an entire trailer, our puppy van, the Rescue 21, the BC vehicle, and I believe some of uh, uh, Chief Smith's vehicle. Uh, and then we had quite a bit in donations, either cash donations, gift cards, and or uh, other donations. So it was a very good event, way to kick it off for the year. So starting tomorrow, this will be turned into a giant toy store. So anybody <laughs> would like to come by and either help, volunteer, <laughs> sort, or any of the above, it's going on until when is give out? The 18th is when we'll start giving away toys. Oh, we'll start, I'm sorry, start on the 13th. Oh, start on the 13th. So we got a bunch of bikes donated today, so everything is moving forward with Toys for Tots. And finally, uh, we have the Florida Fire Chiefs Association, their annual meetings and their conference. It used to be called Fire Rescue East this year. It has moved from Daytona to uh, Orlando, and it is the 8th through the 12th. 
uh, I will be at that conference. It is the first year it is moving. Uh, is the 8th. I know the 8th is our board meeting. I believe uh, Chief uh, Broad will be taking the board meeting for next month, but I'll be at that one because I have board meetings for the Florida Fire Chiefs to include what we talked about with TECO, and it's the first year of the conference moving there, and they have hot classes. So, um, And that is it for me for tonight. Any questions, comments, concerns, or answers? Thank you. The rest of the uh, reports are in our packet. If anybody has have any questions. I do have one other thing, sir. Just uh, uh, oh, make up my mind. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying. Uh, you, what I'm about to say, you guys are going to fall over a little bit, so I don't want to. I didn't want to hit you too much with too much too much stuff all at once. Uh, I am going on vacation the uh, 28th through the 2nd of January. 28th of this month through the 2nd. So I will time. be available by phone. Who, who, time. who approved that? <laughs> they, they all did. Everybody here did. <laughs> they all did. Everybody's cheering over there. <laughs> well, it's a well-deserved vacation. You need to do it more often. But I, I am available by phone. I did buy the, the phone package. That's not vacation. <laughs> no. Can't be too disconnected all at once. Uh, no public comment. I don't have any cards. I don't see anybody unless anybody wants to say anything. Motion um, to adjourn. We're out of here. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Thanks. Christmas.